It got so cold in this shed, we're afraid we might have lost some sweet potatoes. Yeah. Good afternoon, beautiful people. It's a glorious sunny day in January. I'll take it. The weather, like I, I, I've said, I think every time I've picked up the camera, this weather is really unusually warm for this time of year. Like I should be bundled up and freezing right now, but I'm not. We're supposed to have a rainstorm come through tomorrow. And one of the various things that I've needed to do is down here by the greenhouse it it's this you know the drainage the drainage that all drains this way and then eventually goes off our property and then wraps back around and go drains into the swamp well anyways this uh this portion right here in front of the greenhouse when we get rain it turns into a sloppy mess and it's basically in the road you know on the way down to the barn on the way to anywhere it's just a sloppy mess. So something I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna grab the tractor and I'm gonna get in here and kind of work on grading this out a little bit. Um, I might bring some dirt in. I think I can get away with doing what I did beside the greenhouse. I just came in here with the tractor and just kind of scooped a little bit of dirt. We moved some that way and then just generally got it graded to where everything that comes off the greenhouse has a spot to go and it's worked really nice but we stopped about right here and this still becomes a mud hole it drains in front of the greenhouse we moved a whole bunch of dirt right there anyways i'm gonna just follow this out just a little bit more and get it to drain a little bit right here in front of the garden it's kind of hard to tell on camera but it does slope this way and there is kind of a channel where the water goes but then for some reason when it gets right here it just all pools up. I'm gonna go grab the tractor and some shovels and uh, get down here and see if I can get this drainage problem fixed. Part of the reason for this is we've, uh, we've got a class with Hand Hewn Farm coming up. We're gonna do a pig, do the whole workshop, the whole thing. We're gonna have people here. Not a ton of people, but we're gonna have you know the students that are doing the class with us. Pretty much parking is all up top. Everybody's gonna be walking down this way. It would be nice if it was just a little less muddy. It's supposed to rain the entire time we're doing that class. Like, I think every single day. So, that's my reasoning behind getting all of this mud dealt with is uh, just so we don't have to track it in the barn. All right, enough talking, I'm gonna get to work. That wasn't too bad. Having a piece of equipment to do the heavy lifting, it's very nice. It's been a very long time that I've used the lawnmower and a wagon and shovels. Uh, being able to whip out a project like this, this would have taken me all day. I think that was kind of what I was expecting was this was gonna take me all day long. I got it done in probably an hour. I think that'll work. Got it kind of compacted in. It looks like it'll drain. I might come back over here and tilt the scraper and come back along here and kind of flatten it out a little bit more. I'm not sure, I think it's gonna work as is. I grabbed an extra scoop of dirt to just kind of get everything graded in. And I didn't tear up the grass too bad over here. There wasn't much grass here anyways. It's been such a mud hole. It's just, we walk through it all the time so that keeps it churned up. It's like as bad as the pig pen right here. Maybe not that bad, that's pretty bad. Now I gotta figure out 
there is another project. I don't know if I'm going to do it today. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I have had these sitting here. Those are some six by sixes I made and I burned them to basically protect them. You can do it decoratively and call it Shoshugibon, but there is some rhyme and reason to burning your lumber if it's going to be in contact with the ground. The charcoal on the outside of wood will actually keep it from rotting. I wanted to know how long these would last. They've been out here like a year and a half, just sitting there burned, and they haven't hardly rotted. I would like to use those and you know some more I have and put in some steps right here. I've been gonna do this project for like a year now. And every time I go to start it, I change my mind on how I wanna do it. Uh, as you can see, the path is pretty wide. Uh, right now it's wide enough, we can get the lawnmower up it. Uh, I can get the tractor up and down right here. But if it becomes steps, we can't take either of those up right here. And it means we're driving all the way around there to go up in a different spot. So, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna start this today. I will sit and ponder it. Maybe I'll go in there and talk to Meg about it and be like, hey, what do you think? may save that for another day. Okay. You're good. You got your jacket. Those are big steps for little legs. <laughs> we can go down. We're going to the shed. All right. So, upon communicating, because that's important. <laughs> it's important. Uh, we are working on getting everything ready. In case you haven't noticed, past couple videos, we're getting everything ready for our hand-hewn class and we're collecting all of our meat lugs yes. that uh, we will need. And some of them are full of sweet potatoes right now. With that cold snap we had at Christmas, it got so cold in this shed, we're afraid we might've lost some sweet potatoes. Yeah. Not a big deal because we did grow them for animal feed, so we'll just, you know, speed that up. Right. Uh, but we'll kill two birds with one stone. We'll pull some sweet potatoes in here in the lugs right and then kind of sort through them and see if we did lose any um i think the meat lugs that had those sweet potatoes are actually closest to the walls so those would be the ones that we need to pull out anyways yeah so i'm gonna grab some meat lugs full of sweet potatoes and we'll bring them in the house you know what? i don't think we lost that many sweet I potatoes i don't think so i think they're all right watch, well, out, watch out sister you gotta move watch out okay right. ready i think i can grab all three of them really don't throw your back out. Come on, baby. Yeah, you'll just have to get the baby. All right. Now that she's getting chicken feet. <laughs> okay, do you want to give that to the chickens? Okay. Let me have that. Come on. Okay, give it to the chickens. <laughs> you gotta go in there and dump it. Okay, there you go. All right, watch out, they're coming. Watch out. No, get back in there, get back in there. Come on, chicken. Okay, there we go. So, Meg handed me the camera. I thought it was rolling. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to repeat what I had just said to the camera. We were already sitting Sorry. here talking. Yeah. We've gone through them. Um, there are a there's few. Some, that, yeah, that's the tips there. That one, the tips of that one. And there's a little bit of mold, mush. which that's okay. That's, that's expected. The, the ends that got either broken or cut. Hey, get down, sister. You're going to fall off. The cut ends or damage that's trying to mold. So we're yeah. going to get those out, mm -hmm. you know, that, that way the mold doesn't spread. Right. But Or they don't this turn to money. juice. All right, let me set this camera down and I guess find... Uh, we could put them in cardboard boxes. Yeah, yeah. I might go grab some cardboard boxes and okay. before we start unloading. Cool. It's really handy to save all your cardboard. What's that meme about once you hit your 30s, you just spend your life going, that's a really nice box. I should save this box. <laughs> it's a really good cardboard box. box. How do you want to do this? I'm going to get this out of the way. Okay. Hey, don't break them. Ah! Don't break them. We're trying to find good ones. All right. Um, in the boxes should be the ones we want to keep for eating. Yeah, let's okay. keep the good ones. Um, good size ones. Is that a mushy spot? No, that's just a spot. Ah, that's a mushy spot. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See how it's discolored? This one's mushy. I have to throw it in. 
It's good. Oh, is it? Okay. I can't tell it. I can't believe we grew so many sweet potatoes. I know it's a lot. 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 This one's a lot. That one's not a lot. No, that one's not a lot. Do you want to put the wrong ones in just in here for yeah, now? Yeah, and then I can go take them to the show. Okay. Can I put this one in here? Yeah, if it's good, you can put it in. Oh, this this size looks like they're keeping piece. better. Lucky. We gotta check them, baby. That's this gonna have to be one. tonight. Okay. It's got mold on yeah, it. Look it's broken. At I see, this see that one, I see it up close. All in all, this hasn't been that bad. Um, it looks like everything's fine. We haven't lost any to cold, freezing temperatures, yeah. which means the shed didn't freeze. It just, it got cold. Putting a heat lamp out there actually stopped the shed from freezing. Yes. Um, we're losing some, like the ones that broke right at the break. It never healed. It just kind of like scabbed, and then the scab is starting to mold, and then you can see the discoloration. That's starting to get mushy. So, all in all, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with yeah. this. Yeah, that was great. That was a floppy one. That one's That's a floppy one. one. All right. Next. This is a goose. That's a goose. Yeah. 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 All these little ones this size are keeping way better. They are. These are keeping great. Okay, hold on, Chris. You better look at them. Yeah. I put a Okay, thank you. Good shot. Okay. All right. All right, so we filled up a lug with ones that have mold on them, um, ones that, you know, they broke, which we should have thrown those out when, uh, when we uh, harvested. All the ones that break, they just don't really keep. So. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, so all, get wasted. I will immediately put these into the food rotation for the pigs. Yeah. That's something like a couple pounds per pig. Six pounds per pig is like uh, sufficient for... Ten. Ten pounds? Ten pounds of roughage if you feed them like a gallon of milk as well. Yeah. Or whey. So... That is a pig ration. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. We got pig food, which is why we grew so many extra. Yeah. Uh, I'll haul this out and dump it in a bucket so I can begin adding it to feed. <laughs> That's and then, my lug. Yeah, so you can have your lug and then I'll guess I'll take the rest of these out. Okay. So it looks like you are going to cook some of them tonight. Yes. They sounded good. You cut off the damaged mm -hmm, portions yeah. on these. There's these were spots, but... possible throw out taters. But, but they had such, I mean the rest of it was fine. Yeah, the rest so. of them is fine. So we'll just eat them tonight. Yep. So I'm just gonna roast these like a baked potato and we'll eat them probably with a garlic butter sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. It smells amazing, doesn't it? <laughs> so all stand by tonight. Mm -hmm. Our bacon, some butter garlic, a buggy. <laughs> you silly. And spaghetti noodles. Yep. Carbonara. Sad carbonara. I'm gonna put some coins in the back pocket. Okay, thanks. She's paying you for dinner. I guess. I'll take it. So carbonara is one of our all-time favorite pasta dishes. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves it. Everybody eats it. I completely forgot you were cooking some sweet potatoes. I almost did too. <laughs> I don't want they some sure look different potatoes. than they did a little they bit do. ago. I don't want some sweet potatoes. You don't, you want, don't some want some sweet potatoes? Sweet potatoes? Uh -huh. How come you don't want any sweet potatoes? Because she's all about that noodle life. Yeah, you are. She was singing about the noodles. She loves noodles. She's like, I'm going to eat them. That was actually one of her first words. <laughs> she learned what noodles were and learned that she loved them. Yes. You hang on. Me. Oh, you see yourself in the no. reflection? That dirty window? Buggy, are you ready to eat dinner? Okay. Okay, let's eat dinner. All right, so those sweet potatoes with that butter garlic sauce, so oh my gosh. 
So you just melted some butter with some fresh crushed Gar garlic? Yeah, that's all I did. That is amazing. That flavor combo and the sweet potatoes are like creamy. It's a whole new way to eat It's a whole new potatoes. way. I can't eat we my chair. I hear that. Bar. So yeah, it's a that's whole like, new way to really enjoy good. sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are one of those fun things that um, you can go either way. You can go savory, you can go sweet. I actually don't care for sweeter sweet potatoes. Yeah, I like them. Do. Yeah, we uh, we like them as like a savory type thing or mm -hmm. I kind of want to experiment. I wonder if you could stuff them full of, mm. like hollow them out and stuff them full of something. Probably, and then have them roasted like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. Might be good. So, that's gonna do it for us for tonight, for today. We will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.